Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here, and uh, we got some reviews to do today of um, unboxing and installation of some glass shelving for my property um, to put in the bathroom to make it look nice and to make it look sexy, and if you saw my other videos, you saw the other work I've been putting into the bathroom and what I installed, trying to make it look nice for my new hope-to-be tenants soon after I waste so much time putting into the place to make it look all sexy for them. So anyway, um, so this is a KES shelf. Um, I'm going to do both a review of unboxing on both shelves because they're the same brand. They have a kit, but the kit you only save 20 cents and you have to wait the next day for delivery. If you buy it separate, you get it the same day and you're just paying an extra 20 cents. So bad on Amazon and bad on whoever sells this, um, there should be a much better deal. If I'm buying both of these at the same time and not one at a time, you should give me like maybe four, six, you know, dollars off. You know, I'm not saying give me, you know, $20, that's not what I'm saying, but I mean, 20 cents is kind of ridiculous. If you said maybe six bucks, I'd be like, oh, you know what, save in $6, I'll buy both at the same time. I'll buy it, you know, but I don't know. And then, they, and then you guys even said, oh, originally $69.99 or set or whatever almost a hundred dollars and I was like whatever it was and I was like what it's originally more than what the original cost of them separately I know it's a marketing scheme to trick everybody and on them so anyway this is what it looks like there's the model number it says made in China this was the, a cheap you know one I've told you it wasn't like the most expensive one um but you know still they weren't like $9.99 I think the set was like 70 bucks or something like that yeah so it's not like it's cheap for the set um, but this was the cheapest one that they had, um, you know, available that was in glass that I liked. The, for the design, this was the cheapest design I could find. Um, all the other ones were just glass, and I don't like just glass shelving, um, especially for me, because I always move stuff out of the way to get to something else. And if I have work on my mind, and I gotta get deodorant, and it's in the back of perfume or whatever, and I move it and it falls, that is gonna shatter everywhere and have perfume and make my day so much worse. Like if you think about it, uh, if you drop something and you're already overthinking your day at work and now you drop glass on the floor and it shatters and it breaks, your day just got worse. So why do that? And I put, so I put this little uh, ring on here for my tenants so they don't have that kind of day. Um, so anyway, um, it says new, whatever, let's get this open. I don't know if this is the bigger one or the small one. Additional three month warranty. If you register the product, they want to know where you are and locate you and uh, know everything about you for an extra three months uh, of a warranty. That's the trade off. Um, see below for ways to connect with us. We will respond in 24 hours or less. Hopefully that's true because I've seen companies, you know, come and go on Amazon. I mean, whatever. Like I said, I mean, you know, you're getting a deal. You can't, I, don't have, I don't have high expectations, you know what I mean? I just buy stuff and hope for the best that it lasts. And, if I can fix it, great. If I can, I just replace it. You know, I mean, what are you gonna do? That's our, that's the life we live in: replacing and just throwing stuff out. Replacing and our landfills are just you know filling up. Login register. This is when it was made. It says it's stamped, so you know, so they know your warranty. I guess. Ooh, my leg hurts. Go get my surgery in a couple of days. Um, they give you anchors to install it. I always use my own anchors because I like anchors with sleeves and necks and whatever you call them. So that's in there. Let's open up this. Um, these are some brackets. You're going to see how these brackets get installed. It looks pretty simple. Two screws right there. Anchor, bam, and the, and the glass grabs. I mean, that looks simple. You're probably not going to hit stud all the time, so prepare to make sure this thing can probably hold about 15 pounds, I would say. I overdo everything. You could probably make this thing hold six pounds and it'll be good, but I would I would do double that and make sure it holds 12 to 15, so I know it's not going to fall off the wall if a you know, cat jumps on it for a second, I, even though I don't allow pets in here. You know, sorry guys, I, I'm not a... I, I love pets, but um, you know, people who have them, usually I've seen they do not take care of the property that well. You can charge a fee for it, I know, and be all nice about it. I mean, if, if I already had that in my other properties, um, you know, when I was, my mom showed me that when we grew up in our property, you know, because we had rental, um, you know, I would have said, oh yeah, find a dog, because we had good experience, and everybody, and, and pets make people happy, they do. Um, so I would love that, but, you know, I haven't seen, like, good outcomes, so I haven't 
been able to say, yes, let's have pets in, in my properties, you know. Um, so this is the installation manual. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. I mean, I don't know if you can zoom in and see it. It's just, I, I don't know. So I'm going to hold it up for like a second so you guys can pause it and look at it if you want to. Um, and that's it. So throw that like that. I mean, it looks self-explanatory from the picture. Here's the glass right here. I don't have a razor blade, do I? No, I don't. I have only this. I'll cut it open with this. All right, so we're going to do this. Cut it open. I probably cut the glass. Um, so it comes with the two glass shelves that are in here. Oh, no, no. There's only one glass shelf. I'm sorry. It's thick. It's quarter inch thick uh, glass. That's really thick glass. Has It's it's the cheapest glass. See the green tint? Um, green tint, I'm pretty sure, is the cheapest glass you can get. Uh, ultra clear is expensive and um, like I said, this thickness is cool, but um, it's probably not shatter resist. You know what I mean? It's probably just thick and just extra glass. You can't really think it's going to be like that much stronger. Um, I had to buy glass for when I ran my company. When I did my company, I had to use glass to fix, uh, you know, doors and stuff like that. And I always had to get reinforced the glass, glass with uh, metal fiber in it. I have always had to get, you know, special glass. Um, you know, for uh, for the for the commercial um, applications that we need it. So I'm all about commercial. You know, I'm sorry I, I overdo things. You know, especially when I install stuff. But um, when I was working in like stores and stuff like that, um, you got to make it like baby proof because you get teenagers that work there that are very you know irresponsible and they and 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 they're trade ins. You know what I mean? Like you only have them for like six months and then they go back to school, so they don't care what they do to the restaurant you know, that they're working at. So I would always have to deal with those kind of kids, and um, you know, so I dealt with that, and then so I always had to make something extra strong because they would treat it like crap. So that's I just have it like bread in me, and I mean to make it like stronger than it needs to be, and then it makes me just feel safe. Oh, it came in this uh, extra box. That's pretty cool. So I didn't know that. So it came in that extra box. Um, I like extra boxes. I can always use them. I paint on them. I store in them and then I write labels on them. Um, I think this is the bigger one. I mean, I'm not sure. I have no idea because there is no English on it really. It just says glass shelf. So it doesn't even tell you what size or anything. Um, it's the same exact thing on this one. This one looks like the bigger one. I think that one is 13 inch, around 13. It could be 13 and a half. It's around 13 inches, 13 and a quarter. This one I think is 15 and a half or 15 and three quarter. It's around 15 something. So it's going to have the same exact brackets in here. I'm not going to bother opening up that. It has two of these. I don't know why, but it does have two of these. Oh, one's a towel rack. Ooh, 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 I forgot. This one has a towel rack, but honestly, it's a towel rack made out of the same exact thing, so it's not really that special. But this is the bigger one, um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we got more brackets over here. So let's see, we got the brack. These look different brackets, um, obviously, because it has the two bars. So the bars must mount here and here, and the glass goes in the middle. Is what I'm, the glass probably goes in the middle screw, and then these two are probably go like that, is what I'm, I'm going to guess. Um, let's put this over here so I don't mix up everything, because I'm known to do that. Um, I don't remember where these go. There's something in here, and I don't know which one they go to, but they're sealed, I think, yeah. So, um... These are in there too. I don't know where these go yet. Like I said, I'm gonna take a look. See, this this was laying here. I don't even know what box that came of. I have to look through the video. Um, this is the installation manual. It's kind of the same exact thing as that one. I will hold it up so you guys can maybe zoom in and see what it looks like. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. Same exact thing. Last shelf looks the same, just bigger, 15 and something inches. All right. So that's it for the unboxing that you can see uh, what you can get out of it, uh, the installation of it. Um, yeah, so it looks like these ones go with the smaller one and those ones go with the big one, I think. All right, guys, uh, we're back with Glen Velvet Reviews. We did the unboxing of those glass KES shelves. So let's get those things put together. I'm going to try to put it together on the top here so you guys can see it. I'm trying to get everything in one big, you know, picture or, you know, whatever. So let's see what's up. Let um, me take this down. Take
Got it out. Okay, so we, oh, we just got to turn this around <sighs> like that. So let's hold it up and put it in like this and hope for the best. Safe. Okay, probably easier with two people, but whatever. It's fine. That's uh, my girlfriend hammering away at the floors, trying to get them installed. But she already knows what she's doing, so that's like quickly, so it's a lot better, more efficient for her to be doing the hammering. Because she already uh, knows how to do that shit. I mean, you know, knows how to install those floors quicker than I do. Okay, so let's tighten these just a little bit, give a little bit of a crank, so we could still move them and line them up because I guarantee you that's where the holes go in there okay so we got to make sure this is all square and even perfectly on the wall so this is kind of what I got as the installation I'm sorry that I was out of focus or whatever I will cut that out um, so this is gonna go So we need a quarter inch here. What's that? All right, so I uh, I was able to hit the stud on the um, right side of the wall. Left side, I couldn't hit the stud, so I used the anchor. I didn't tighten it that much. These walls suck. I don't they they don't tight. I don't know. The anchors just don't get that tight, and then they don't work. Um, so I don't like that that much. Um, mine's a little messed up because they messed up on my. Um, what's it called, where the hole goes. So they really botched the job on my uh, little thing here that we got. But anyway, um, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, oh, that's because this needs to be bent down, right? Okay, now it looks a little bit better, that's why. I guess they bend easily, which is weird, but what are you gonna do? Um, Okay, that's about it. Um, so that's what it looks like. I put that on there. Let's get the next hole going. Um, all right, guys. So this is the uh, finished product that you can expect. I had to use different screws uh, because I hit studs and everything else. I mean, you know, I used anchors and some other stuff to make it strong. It feels really strong. And I think it looks pretty decent. This side is a little bit lifted on the left, but you're not gonna notice it when you put stuff on. So next we're gonna put the 13 inch um, one up here. Uh, we're gonna put that over here and you guys are gonna see what that's gonna look like. So you're gonna get a review of both. And that's kind of what you can expect it to look like from afar. I think it looks nice. It's got this little nickel um, that matches, um, you know, the other nickel fixture stuff that I got going on. So I think that's gonna match really cool. And that's the finished product. So I'm gonna get going with the, the uh, smaller one. I'm gonna put that together because it's the same exact thing as this. So I don't think we need to review that on the video. Um, I mean, maybe we will for like a couple seconds if I can get it done quick, but uh, let me see what's up. So I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I'm I'm back over here, and I I started installing it. Sorry, um, I leveled it out. I put that on top. That's about how high you saw with the glass. So I put the marking with the tape. <clears throat> That's my center line. That line right there. Um, so I'm marking that up at the center of that, which makes it easier. That's the minimum height that I want that bracket to be. So this way I'm aligning it. And then I drilled a hole and I hit, um, I'm guessing a stud is what it feels like. Because when I pulled out the, um, there was wood all over the, um, what's that called, the bit when I took it out. So I'm guessing it's wood, some bit of wood. Um, so I, I pre-drilled it um, with a very small bit first, uh, the one under one eighth of an inch. So I drilled that first about a half inch into the wood just to relieve pressure. So like I said, you know, like I always tell you, you don't know how old this house is and I don't, I want it to, you know, fit right in there tight. I don't want to have pressure and then it cracks and then it's worth nothing. And then the repair is, uh, is a mess. So, um, pretty much I, I don't, you know, I don't want that. So, um, so yeah, so I already leveled this out. I put the level on the top of this bracket right here and it's perfect. So now I'm gonna go to this one, level it out. Well, level both out to the same height and then I'm going to uh, drill the hole in here to mark it. And I'm gonna use, um, like I said, toggle bolts. Sorry guys, this is all I got. So, you know, we're gonna have to deal with what I got. And um, so now we're gonna put this up and then we got to spin that though. Okay, that's better. There we go. So we're going to have it just like that. And that's going to be nice and level. Um, so I'm going to pre-drill that hole. I'll take everything off and then. All right, let's uh, let's finish this install. Nice, perfection. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfection. All right, now we're gonna. Well, we're gonna put the sh glass shelf in first because that makes sense. Let's put the glass shelf in, and then we're going to tighten it. Alright, so we're good. So, that's it guys, so we're done installing it. That's the two that you're going to expect to get, and what it's going to look like, and everything like that. Alright? If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community. Just like I get help from the community. Alright, thanks a lot guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.